Hey guys, my name is Shashank and welcome back to this new Excel tutorial and today in this video we are going to learn that how to handle and how to manipulate or how to uh, use multiple pivot charts and filter them with one slicer or maybe two or three slicers displaying the different values for in this uh, set of data I have two charts which are being controlled by this one slicer which is of product categories right so if I select any of these products it will display the values in, do, in these two different charts uh, one is displaying the sales data uh, from different countries their profit and their sales and second one is displaying the sales and profit month wise of that particular product right so if you want to learn this and if you want to use this in your dashboards then stay tuned with me throughout this video and i will take you through the step-by-step -step procedure how to do that and it's really simple you can do it in under just five minutes right so create any pivot chart or any pivot table you should have a set of data so i have this sheet which which is uh, full of sales data i can use this data to create a pivot chart and then convert it into pivot tables pivot charts and slices right so first of all select your data go to the insert tab and then create a pivot table so to create a pivot table you have multiple options one is to you can create it in the same sheet if you have the space if you don't have space you can go to the new worksheet and then you can add this uh, data in the workbooks data model right so by doing this you can save your time by going uh, back and forth or selecting the same data and creating multiple uh, pivot charts from the same data so this way you can just simply put this data in the uh, data model and you can use it again and again on multiple worksheets without even selecting your data right so this is how you can use this uh, data model option right so press or you can just simply uh, table and then you can go to the add this data to the data table press ok so now I have added my table in the data model so when you add your data in the uh, data model it will display like this it will display the name of your table and the columns available and the headers of that data right so now I have this sheet and I will create a one pivot chart a one pivot table by uh, country by so I will select the country and put it in rows right and then I will put these gross sales right and the profits earned from those sales in the same value section so now i have two columns the one is the total gross sales and the sum of profit which we have generated uh, in different countries so now i will convert this into a pivot chart so simply go to the insert and then use this pivot chart create pivot chart now you have this option just simply select and create it so now you have this pivot chart you can go to the field option and hide all these buttons it will uh, free up some space for you to handle values and then you have these values which are way bigger to be contained in limited space so you can convert it into the uh, values in millions in thousands or in even in uh, lakhs or crores right as you want so just select the label right click and go to format axis right and then you have this option here uh, which is to convert uh, your display units right so if you go to display units you will have none so drop down and go to millions right and if you can go to billion and trillion if your figures are way bigger so i will use millions so they will convert it into the millions right so as you can see here so just simply close it so now your figures has been converted into millions it is much easier to to figure out at how much values we are talking about here so from 0 to 30 millions and just select the chart and then remove these grid lines i don't like them right and even you can hide the legends if you don't want right so i have created one chart here i will create another chart simply go to the uh, insert tab and then you can use the recommended pivot tables right uh, and you can even use uh, the table which you have already put it inside put it in the data model right so i will use the pivot chart or you can just simply select anywhere go to pivot chart and go to pivot chart and pivot table or pivot chart whatever you want to do so go to pivot chart and i will use this workbooks data model right and in the existing worksheet and i will create this here press ok so now you will see that your uh, pivot table or data is available in this section so i will use it month wise and i will go to the month name i will put it in the axis and then i will use the 
gross sales in this values and then I will use the profits uh, again in the value section right so now I have month wise data with the gross sales and the profit and I will close it so now you can con change this uh, chart into any chart whenever we are handling the dates so it is uh, it is preferred to convert your charts into line charts so I will select the chart I will go to design and then I will change chart type to line chart right so press ok so now I have a line chart I can hide these field list by simply go to the analyze field buttons hide all right and I don't want these legends right and I don't want the these uh, axis values so now I have these two charts remove grid lines right so now these are two charts which I will connect with the same slicer so just simply select both of these and you can uh, reduce their size as per your requirement right as you want them to be so now I have these two charts here one is displaying the sales data country wise and one is displaying sales data uh, month wise right so now I will uh, insert, insert a slicer simply go to the insert and go to the filter tab go to slicer and now you can select which by which uh, uh, cell or column you can you want to filter your data so here I will use the uh, product to filter my data so select the product and press ok right so now it will create a slicer here you can customize it as per your requirement you can create multiple columns right so I have created here maybe you can go with the three right so I have this slicer okay now if you see if I press this slicer it will uh, only change one chart it is not changing values in the second chart so to do that I will select the slicer and I will go to the report option which is under the options tab go to report options and it will display all the pivot charts pivot tables available in your worksheets and then you can click on them and then you can connect them with your one slicer right so here I have two charts one uh, is already connected so if you don't want to do that you can go to this right so sheet 16 we have chart 2 sheet 16 pivot table 5 is already connected so press ok so now let us see what will happen when we select any product so select a value so now it will change both of these values uh, in first chart and second chart so the thing which you have to keep in mind while connecting multiple slicers or one slicer with multiple charts and tables that the charts and pivot tables should be con uh, should be derived from the same data source right so if you have not added your data in the data model then you will not be able to connect your uh, slicers with the pivot tables and pivot charts so that is all for today's video and i hope that this will help you to analyze your data and showcase in the dashboards for further analysis so thank you very much guys for watching this video stay tuned for my upcoming videos on excel dashboards and advanced functions thank you very much